Hello, my name is Paul, and this is James Richardson. Good. Uh, and today we're going to review the scooter, which is the iScoot Pro version two, which we've had for about a year now. Yeah, and um, I can walk you a bit when I lost my scooter. Okay. What do you like about the scooter, James? Uh, I like everything on my scooter. Yeah. And <coughs> the bad thing is that I don't like anything on my scooter. Do you really like it, do you? Yeah. And there's nothing you don't like about it? Good. Yeah. Good. So, can you go fast on it? Yeah. Okay. And what, what, some of the things I like about it are that he's five years old and he's had him since he was uh, four. So obviously he's growing in that time, so we've been able to put the uh, handlebars up vertically, he can easily lever. And we got some wheels and a brake here. Yep, the wheels and brake, and the wheels are rubber, which makes it quite a smooth ride. Yeah, rubber, and they actually quite dirty. They're dirty, yes, because they've yeah. been well used. Yeah, we're not allowed to touch them, but we are allowed to touch this trigger. That's right. So this scooter costs £45 from Amazon. Which is quite expensive. Um, for some of the scooters cost about twenty pounds. But what I like about it is it comes with a thirty-day money-back guarantee. First of all, peace of mind. It is very robust, very stable. Uh, we haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. Yeah, we've had a few crashes with it, haven't we, James? Quite a few times. Um, as he's learning, but uh, it's been very good, very sturdy. The wheels are still in very good condition. Um, like I said, we've had it for a year, so we've had. To, um, Good, good use out of it, and um, no sort of real scratches or dents or anything uh, I can see. So it's um, it's very good. Um, it will last well longer than uh, he'll need it. I think his uh, younger sister Sophie is now two and a half years old, and I think she'll be able to um, use it once James is finished with it, and I'm sure it will last. Well, it will outgrow her as well. So, um, yeah, for £45, I think it's a good investment. And uh, we're very happy with it, aren't we, James? Yeah. So, um, now, here are some videos of James riding the scooter and giving you a few, few demos of uh, braking and acceleration and a few stunts. Is that right? Yeah. Great. So, see, if I steer left, the wheels turn, in the case we go left, and if you steer right, the wheels turn to the right. Left and right. Well scooters don't do that, other scooters just um, have a fixed wheel placement and you have to lean uh, the whole scooter left and right, um, but this does it this way. And of course this has two wheels at the front which helps with stability and um, it uh, might make it a bit smoother, I'm not sure, but anyway uh, it seems to work. So two wheels at the front, two wheels at the back, uh, but close together and they're quite large diameter wheels. They will uh, have a smoother ride than uh, smaller wheels. That's the biggest advantage really, they've got uh, a smoother ride. So they're bigger at the front than they are at the back. But ones at the back are still fairly good size. And they can see the braking mechanism. So as demonstrated by James earlier, you push this down to brake. It's just resistance braking. Uh, so there's no no controls up here to brake, so it is purely by your foot at the back, but it seems to work okay. Um, we've got a lever here to allow um, vertical motion of the handlebars there. So as your child gets uh, taller, the uh, scoot or the o -scoot, o scoot Pro will grow with the child. And then at the bottom here, we have a, a collapsible mechanism. So, I'll fold my Christmas and say you do this. It's a bit hard to do one handed, but you unscrew this. Here we go, one second. So, I've just loosened this off now. This bit here, you pull this up and you fold down. And this actually locks in place, as you can see here. And it's very sturdy. Um, never had any issues with this. So it's a very sturdy scooter that, when folded down, is quite nice. It can actually go inside a pushchair. Here it is, side on. 
So uh, when we're taking Sophie out in her push chair, you, you should just uh, stow this in the basket underneath. And uh, also when I take James to school, it's easier to stow it like this. And while walking around school with uh, lots of other children, I hold it vertically. It's uh, quite heavy, but it's not too heavy. It's alright. Um, walking for 10 minutes with it in your hand, it's fine. Um, but like I said, usually we have it in the uh, basket underneath the uh, push chair anyway, which is fine. Uh, maximum weight for the scooter is 50 kilograms. It's not meant for adults, it is only meant for children. So there we go. Jump off. Yay, good boy. You're showing off now. Wow, <laughs> You're very good at being directed, dude. I did, that was amazing. Go. Good breaking, James. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So when the uh, little chairs get a bit tired, what you have to do is hold on and uh, put back them on. Say hello James. Hello. Are you tired? Are you tired? Don't repeat to me. <laughs> have you been lots of scooting? Yes. Is it fun, the scooter? Yes. What do you like about it? Um, I like it when I just scooter and scoot Tricks. Yeah, 
see more of this awesome outfit uh, of the Star Wars Stormtrooper with the associated helmet and possibly even a lightsaber as well, uh, please subscribe to the, uh, this channel because yeah, we're going to be reviewing all this pretty soon. Yeah.